What's up YouTube, it's Louis here, I hope you're all well. Today we'll be looking at quant uh, on the weekly and the daily time frame just to look at some EMAs, some key EMAs and a bottom indicator that I have used on Bitcoin before called the kill shot indicator. Stay tuned, please, let's get this video to 150 likes, let's surpass it. We actually have hit 200 likes in the last two days, so thank you so much. Of course we hit 3K, so thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the support on the channel. We're trying to today hit 3.1K, let's push for it. Every day we're now trying to get 20 subscribers and for the last three days in a row, we've got 20 subscribers on the quant videos. So thank you guys so much for the continued support. Let's now head over to the Bitcoin, uh, to the Bitcoin, to the quant update. <laughs> Perfect, so we're here on the weekly time frame. I hope you like how I've set it up now, uh, the video, oops. But um, here we're looking at quant and this is incredible because I actually want to go over to Bitcoin real quick. We'll turn off all the drawings, but I want to show you where Quant is in comparison. But um, you can see we load out here around $40 and have pumped all the way to the 55 weekly. What an incredible bounce, a relief rally that we were anticipating. But over here, if we compare it to the likes of Bitcoin, look how far away Bitcoin is right here from the 55. We can check ETH out as well over here. You can see it's absolutely nowhere near the 55. XRP nowhere near the 55, V chain nowhere near the 55, and then you've got Quant <laughs> front running the market. Now this is a perfect time to take some profits off the table. Yes, I have said now that we're above $83, we should expect a continuation to $150, absolutely. But we're at the 55 weekly EMA guys, and this is a key resistance, so we should anticipate a rejection. And so this is why on the daily time frame for the last few days, I've kept on saying the 200 EMA is your target. Although we met the $90 target of the double bottom, we could have ca carried on. That's what I said when we were over here. I said, wait to close below this to signal, yet yeah, we're going to come down for the retest or wait uh, uh, for a close above this to signal we're going to the 200 uh, daily EMA. This is what we always say. We prepare for both. And so we wait for the confirmation and then the confirmation tells us, okay, this one's going to happen. No, okay, this one's going to happen. So that's why we prepare for both scenarios. Otherwise, what are you doing? Not preparing for both scenarios. Very silly not to. But anyway, over here, you can see first scenario, first scenario is this might not do anything and we continue, you know, we're above 83. We've said that now we're above 83. We should continue to 150. That's our next key resistance. However, we're very overextended, guys. We need to come back, as I said, in the last few updates, in the last few days. We need to come and retest this bullish cross. And I told you when we were, I think, over here, the 20 was down here, lining up. And I said, if you come in, if you come down quick, you're going to come... Um, and test the lows. If it happens slower, you probably will test the highs over here. Instead of the lows, you're going to test the highs and it's areas, not just a single line like I'm drawing. It's like this wick to that body. This is one area. And then this uh, body to that wick. That's another area. The slower you go down, the higher these EMAs creep up. The slower you come down, more likely you're going to find support on the higher bit and continue up. The quicker it comes down now, more likely you're going to come to the lower bit and then continue and come up. Of course, if you're losing the EMAs, where are you going to head to? That's the next question. These EMAs should hold if we're bullish. You know, we've hit the 200 daily. We need to reset. Uh, this is resistance, so we need to reset. We need to pull back. We've just created this high high, higher than all of these highs, higher than this high. So you can't say there's there's not higher highs. Yes, in comparison to over here, it's still lower. But how do you even get into an uptrend in the first place? You need to come into resistance. You need to pull back and form that higher low, wherever it may be. Now, of course, the EMAs are here. And I would like a test of the 20 and the 55, to be honest, the 55. Come down to the 55 and then continue. It's wherever they are at that time it comes down. And again, the quicker it comes down, the lower this will be. The longer it takes to come down, this the higher the support will be. It's as simple as that. But again, if we lose this bullish cross, it means that this whole move up was a fake out and you come back down, you retest it and it goes back into a bearish cross and then you come back. This can hold you as support. You'd need a massive reclaim. You need to reclaim that bearish cross to form a bullish cross again so that you see how it's starting to get very uh, like 
more leading to the bearish side, if you understand what I mean, because you've already created a bearish cross again, meaning that the bullish cross was invalid, and then you have to go now then and make another bullish cross, but you've just made a bearish one if we come back under the this bullish cross, if we fail to hold it as support. But again, this is a key area as well, 65. Again, I'm not praying that it's going to come down here. It's wherever the 55 and the 20 is, because once you form a bullish cross, you need to hold it as support to continue to break above this 200 uh, daily EMA. And again, this 200 daily EMA is also that 55 weekly EMA, so key resistance. And if we're just looking at the weekly, it makes sense. Once you hit this, you come down to this, so 90. And if you lose 20, the 20 EMA, you come to the 12, which is in around 83. So yeah, you can see on the weekly timeframes, these are your supports. This one down here, 83, let's go back to the daily and just look at it in terms of that. So yeah, it's saying that, yeah, it's probably gonna come to the top over here. Again, if that doesn't hold, you come into the bottom and yeah, that's where the EMAs will, will come. And then from there, we'll use some fibs, okay? When the, when when we find the support, then we'll start to use some fibs, but that's pretty much it for, some, all for the moment. Again, uh, finally, finally, and again, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to help help it reach 150 likes. And again, we're trying to get 20 subscribers from this video so, so we can reach uh, 3.1K by the end of the day. Now, finally, I want to bring you over to the weekly time frame. Now, this is a kill shot indicator that I bought two years ago. I do not use it, but I started using it just for the monthly or the weekly or the monthly time frame for Bitcoin. And it seems like it's called the exact tops for Bitcoin. We'll just look at them very shortly, very quickly. It won't be it won't take too long. So here on the kill shot indicator on the monthly over here, it signaled the top here. It said one indicator and you can actually check which indicator display. So here, I don't know what that one's called, but you can see it has about 13 different indicators telling you exactly what indicators showed up here to actually say this was the top or this was the bottom. And if you appreciate me sharing this with you, then please go ahead and like and leave a comment down below. If you learned anything from today's video, if you just found value in general, or you just enjoy my content, let me know down below. And of course, if you're new to the channel, I need to know by uh, by the engagement down below so yeah you can see seven indicators actually caught this shooting star over here and then over here four indicators have signaled this bottom just like nine signaled this exact bottom yeah and other other times is when this appears below the previous all-time high it's just a signal to take profits basically so here bitcoin went down 40 percent so you can imagine alts went down about 60 maybe even more and over here two indicators said this is a short-term top because since we're below the high it just means take profits we're going to have a dip basically that might last a few months and then here minus 40 percent again so again in around 50 60 percent plus for the alts down uh, yeah but then when we actually appear when it's actually appearing above previous all-time highs so like here like here for example and this is a time to take profit now if we finally bring this over to quant over here you can see on the week because we haven't uh, got a lot of data on this chart the people keep sending me this chart with the quant bitcoin with the quant usd on top of each other and it collects all the data and shows the chart from back in 2018 i've literally when when you type over here for the chart i've literally copied and pasted it here but it's not working can someone make a video and post it on twitter and just tag me or something how to actually get the true quant chart because it's really annoying me i can only go on coin market cap and that chart is absolute trash but here on the weekly time frame you can see for quant this doesn't appear too much as kill shot indicator and the reason why i want you guys to help me and please help me get the proper chart is i want to see how many times this kill shot indicator is actually appeared and i want to see if it actually did happen on that one dollar bottom as well back here in 2020 i think it was for quant but um here you can see it signaled the exact top this uh shooting star over here at resistance you can see here it also said that we're going to have this dump and we did over here you went down 55 percent over here as well so it went down and then this also signaled okay so you lost uh, so you went down 64 percent but when that candle actually closed it said actually buy back in basically and over here on the weekly we've just uh, uh, this is just a bit exactly on the bottom so four indicators on the ch on the quant chart actually saying that yes this is the bottom 
on the on the weekly time frame for indicators. So yeah, this indicator is gonna use, uh, work best on the highest of time frames basically. But yeah, it's very good to see that we still have this bullish cross. But yeah, again, this is all we're waiting for guys to come back and retest it to confirm we are bullish. We are going to head into a bull market as long as we can break above certain key levels. You know, this bear market level, which we were calling for all the way back in December. And if you're new to the channel, if you've just uh, found out about us, then please smash the like button. I hope you enjoyed today's update. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, peace.